So now uh, let student uh, what do you think uh, how we can do the selection of the photoresist the student the selection of photoresist is very important especially for the researchers who want to produce a well defined very fine accurate photographic patterns on their symptoms so basically every photo resist have pros and cons so you need to select the photo resist desired on your requirement and also based on their physical and as well as chemical properties and their interaction with the uv light and also with your thin films so this is usually the selection of photo resist is done on the basis of resolution of the photo resist you know you need to deposit well defined photographic pattern on your thin films so resolution is basically a size and dimension of features on your thin films so the student you need to consider that the photo resist which you are using in producing photographic pattern does it has a better resolution in order to produce a very well defined features on your substrate please note that as i have previously discussed that photopolymeric photo resist or photo cross linking photo resist which are basically negative photo resist their feature size is more than 2 micrometer however photo decomposing photo resist which is a positive photo resist their feature feature size is around 0.5 micrometer so the student you need to think that what kind of photo resist resolution you require on the basis of that you can choose and or you can select the type of photo resist for your experiment another important property of photo resist you need to consider is the contrast okay contrast is issue when you basically expose the photo resist with uv light if the exposed region has lesser contrast with your remaining photo resist region then it's become very difficult for microscope to understand whether the exposed region is totally removed or whether it is remaining in case of positive photo resist and alternatively whether the in for the negative photo resist whether the uh, photo resist which Uh, which is exposed by uv light whether it is affected by the developer or not so the for this the contrast is very important okay contrast is a difference between the exposed portion and the unexposed portion of the photo resist the higher is the contrast then more obvious will be a difference between the exposed and ex unexposed region so the contrast if between the exposed and unexposed region if they are higher then you can basically easily remove the undesired part whether it is a photo resist or whether it is an exposed part so basically you can also easily visualize it from the microscope and in this way you can basically reproduce or you can basically produce a better well defined patterns okay another property of the photo resist you know need to consider is sensitivity of the photo resist whether your photo resist is sensitive or to the uv light or not and what is the sensitivity of your photo resist basically the student sensitivity is the minimum energy that is required to generate a well defined feature in the photo resist or which is placed on the substrate the sensitivity is measured in milli joule per centimeter square the sensitivity of a photo resist is important when using 
deep ultraviolet or extreme ultraviolet UV photolithography. Okay. So, the students, the sensitivity of your photoresist play a vital role. Okay. So, how much is your photos, uh, your photoresist sensitive to the UV light? You need to consider it. If your photoresist is less sensitive to the UV light, at the end of the day, you will get features with full of defects and damages. So, you need to consider the sensitivity of your photoresist. Sensitivity is more important in case if you want to produce very fine, very or very small feature at atomic scales or at nanometer scales, especially in extreme ultraviolet lithography or ex extreme UV lithography or deep pen lithography, etc. So for that, sensitivity of photoresist play a vital role. Though also it is important for conventional UV photolithography. Another interesting property you need to consider in lithography is the adherence. Adherence is basically an interaction or a strength between the photoresist and the substrate, or a strength between the photoresist and your wafer or it is a strength between the photoresist and your thin films. So you need to consider it. If the adherence between the photoresist and your substrate or your thin film is less, then you will never, at the end of the day, you will never get a feature on your thin film. So adherence is very important property. If the adherence is less, you will get lot of misfeatures and even damages in your circuitry. Okay, and that is the reason different types of adherent like HMDS etc. are used to make your photoresist better adherent with your thin film or with your substrate or with your wafer. So, you need to consider the adherence of the photoresist with your thin film if you are doing UV photolithography. Another interesting property you need to consider during UV photolithography is anti-etching. Okay, anti-etching is the ability of photoresist to resist the high temperature. Okay, difference of pH of environment and the ion bombardment in the process of post modification. So etching is very important. You know if the some part of the anti-etching is very important. So if some part of the photoresist just get removed after the post lithography then they can basically in those parts there could be an electronic circuitry and they, that can basically damage our circuiting system. They may cause a short circuiting. So you need to consider the anti-etching ability or withstanding ability of your resist after photolithography. Okay. The reason there could be a different reason due to which there is a possibility of etching like a high temperature after the post processing lithography. The high temperature could be, may be present when you are uh, basically depositing an electronic circuiting using electron beam operation or thermal operation. So you need to consider the ability of your photoresist to withstand at higher temperature. You need to consider the pH value if there is a different in pH value environment whether it is uh, etching or if it is, whether it is affecting our resist or not and you also need to consider whether if when we are doing bombarding or when we are incorporating different types of electronic contacts using um, 
uh, ion bombarding processes or electron beam bombarding process whether they the our photoresist can withstand with the inflection of those so all these uh, so the anti aging property is very important and we need to consider the anti aging property of our photoresist another interesting property we need to consider is the surface tension of our photoresist okay surface tension is the tension that induced by a liquid tended to minimum its surface area which is caused by attraction of particle in the surface layer in order to better wet the surface of the substrate photoresist are required to possess relatively low surface tension so the surface tension of our photoresist must be less in order to getting a better interaction of photoresist with our deposited thin film so we need to consider surface interaction of our photoresist with our deposited thin film.